guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. Today I'm here once again to talk about gyno and uh, this is a continuation on from the last video. This is a video series uh, titled, well I haven't actually made a title yet but I think I'm going to call it gyno advice and then you know list the question after that. So I suppose you could say this is gyno advice episode number two. Three ways to decrease your gyno without surgery. But first, a quick word from our exclusive video sponsor, Manscaped. Sup guys, it's Jacob here. Thank you, first and foremost, for clicking on my video. Secondly, this video is proudly brought to you by Manscaped. Now Manscaped do have a complete range of products on their website, but their most recent product, and the one that I'm using at the moment, is this, the Lawnmower 4.0. So not only is the packaging impressive, but apparently, it's a whole new balls game. And here it is now, the latest addition to Manscaped's incredible selection of male grooming products. I've been using the products for a good couple of weeks now. I love them. There's no way I'd be making this video if I didn't. Manscaped use ceramic blades with skin safe technology, which means there's absolutely no risk of nicks or cuts. In fact, you could probably do it blindfolded. Not only that, but you can do it in the shower also. It's completely 100% waterproof and it's even got an LED light. So power or no power, you can still get the job done. For those wondering, is it a tool just for the downstairs area? No, no it's not. It's actually good for your entire body, including your face. And for anyone wondering, that's the length. But if that's too short for you, there are four different trimmer guard options, which means four different lengths, which means if you really wanted to, you could probably even draw a picture. It looks good, it's waterproof, it's rechargeable with a 90 minute charge, and it's only one of the incredible selection of products on the manscaped.com website. So head over there, check out www.manscaped.com, use code JACOB20, that's J-A-C-B-D-2-0, for 20% off your entire order. Join myself, your other favorite YouTubers, and over two million men worldwide happily using these products. Once again, head down into the description box below, click the link, check out the entire range of products, use my discount code, happy days. Enjoy the video guys, and peace out. Now what I will say is that any guys out there, if you're concerned enough about your gynecomastia, you may well be just as concerned about your body hair situation. So, by all means, if that advertisement does pique your interest, head down into the description box below and check out the link. But we're not here to talk about male grooming. We are here to talk about male issues, but not male grooming. We're here to talk about gyno, and we're here to talk about three ways to decrease your level of gyno, your situation, uh, your individual situation, because we're all different without surgery. And the first thing I want to say is that it's actually, um, well, it's impossible. It is impossible to decrease your individual gyno mass, whether it be on the left side, the right side, or both big, small, through puberty or not, I am of the belief that once your mammary gland grows to a certain size, it cannot decrease without a surgery to literally cut it out. So that's my opinion. But there were certain things I did as a sufferer of gyno to decrease the look of it. Not so much the actual mass, but the look of it. And at the end of the day, if you're going through life su suffering with this issue and you're unable to get the surgery for financial reasons or for you know age reasons, for whatever reason, if you're unable to go through with it and actually do something about this, here are three tips to possibly make you feel that just that little bit better about it, about you know dealing with it, about getting through it on a day-to-day -day basis, which is what you know we all have to do. The first one is most probably uh, the most obvious, but it is something that I utilized okay and this is dark clothing easy right dark clothing okay now this even even looking at this uh, this top that I've got on right now this would have been too light like literally would have been too light for me to wear comfortably the only color that I could ever wear comfortably was black literally the only color now that's boring as fuck there's no no one should ever have to go through life like that but if you are in a position where you haven't got the surgery yet, or you can't get it yet, that is one way to sort of get through it. That is one way to decrease your level of anxiety walking around. That is one way to look at yourself in the mirror, this is not even including anyone else, to look at yourself in the mirror and not be drawn instantly to those two nipples staring you right back in the face. I know what it's like guys, I know what it's like, I do. So put some black on, put some navy blue on, put some dark grey on, or just say, you know what, I know what I've got now, I've got gyno, millions of men around the world have it, it's not my fault, 
and I'm just going to embrace it so you can get fucked. There's loads of guys out there that are like that, that would never even consider getting the surgery. But this video ain't for those people. This video is for you guys who want to get the surgery, who are dealing with this. And so that brings me to my second point. Not only can you wear dark tops, you can also do that, you know, technique <laughs> if, uh, you know, if you want to look good for possibly a photo or if you want to, you know, show your chest to a certain person for, I'm going to say, a period of about a minute or less, you can always twist your nipples before you go out there, right? So you twist your nipples, I don't know exactly what it does, but it does seem to concentrate the gyno into a more uh, condensed, uh, pointy-ish uh, mass, which is very, very strange to, 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 to talk about and to think about, but that's literally what happens. That is literally what happens. Now, I'm not sure why that happens, but it does. A third tip, if neither of those are working, you can always tape down your boobs. I mean, girls do it, and guys do it too. Just between you and me, there are guys out there, <laughs> there are guys out there right here, right now, that have tape across their chest. Now, to have to do that, to think guys, to think that you have to you have to do something like that, you actually have to modify your body in that way just to just to step out the door, just to feel comfortable. I mean it's a it's a it's a it's I'm not gonna say it's a pandemic, but it's a it's a real issue. It is a worldwide issue and it's a, it's a mental health issue. And and with that in mind, I think that governments should begin to recognise it as a real issue and uh, not only that but begin to you know fully subsidize it as uh, an operation, you know. It's, um, it's not as if it's cosmetic, which is what they say it is. It's, it's more to do with your mental health for certain people. You might have to be qualified. You might have to you know, see a psychiatrist, blah, blah, blah. Do what you have to do. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, if you're going to get a, a really high quality surgery for free, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so that's what you can do as far as the aesthetics of it. That's what you can do, in my opinion, without you know, putting too much effort in. That's literally, you know, buying a certain colour of top, uh, buying a roll of tape, or literally using your fingers and flicking or twisting your nipples. Now, put all that to the side. My second tip is something that, yes, you may have to put a little bit of effort into, but as far as actually improving the look of your gyno, I mean, it's this is extremely important. It's, it's the only way. It is the only way. Now, that mass might not decrease, but the amount of fat around the mass certainly can decrease and that's what I'm going to say for tip number two you should do is lose body fat. Now body fat sadly cannot be spot reduced. You can't go and do a hundred push-ups every day and expect that you'll lose fat around your chest faster than any other place on your body. I see body fat as a, a layer, literally a layer. Now your layer might be that big, might be that big, might be that big, it might be that big some places and it might be that big some places but in general as you lose weight, as you lose body fat, that layer is going to get s smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller all over your body. So as far as that, you know, that layer of fat on your chest, that's not going to decrease in any meaningful way until you lose a meaningful amount of body fat. So that's what I'm going to say. For tip number two, lose body fat. Go on a diet. Guys, just think. You're going to be paying all this money, you're going to be going through all this recovery, you're going to possibly, you know, have to sacrifice time out of the gym if you are a regular gym goer. The least you could do, the least you could do is get yourself in better shape than you are today. Doesn't need to be shredded shape, doesn't need to be even 10% body fat. 15% body fat for a male, whether you've got gyno or not, means that you're going to have a flat stomach, you're going to have shape to your body. And that brings me to tip number three, and that is work out. Build muscle, especially around your chest. Incline chest, incline press, decline press, a flat press, flies, you know, flies from the bottom, flies from the side, flies from the top, coming down, flies from the bottom, focusing on the upper chest, flies from the side, focusing on that mid-range, and uh, flies from the top, you know, focusing on that, that bottom part of the chest, just like you do on a decline press. Look, you could do anything. To be honest, you could do squats and still build muscle on your chest due to the fact that, you know, if you're a newbie in the gym and you go and do something really taxing, a big, big compound 
you know, heavy lift like a squat. The benefits you're going to see throughout your body, okay, especially for a newbie. If you've never stepped foot in the gym, if you're considering getting gyno surgery, you have a flat as fuck chest, apart from, you know, this gyno that's sticking out, guys, come on. Build your chest up, get in that gym, especially if you know you've got like a couple of good years, couple of years, maybe even longer, until you are going to be in a position either financially or age-wise to get this surgery. If you've got that time to wait, if you feel like this is going to be a path for you to take, if you've got that time to kill, do something with it. Do something with it to get yourself in the best position possible to get that surgery. And I'll tell you what, there's one thing I will say, and that is that if you do happen to build a bit of muscle, if you do happen to lose a bit of body fat, you may just find that you never even had gyno. Okay, so you've got to do it. You have to do it. You have to do yourself justice. At the end of the day, this video is about you know, decreasing gyno without surgery. I'm talking about guys who, who are going to get surgery, but look, my thoughts remain the same. At the end of the day, if you want to decrease gyno without getting surgery, okay, there's going to be very, very limited options, but there is one option that you always have in your control and in your possession, and that is your ability to manipulate your diet. And to get off your ass, get in that gym, and start pushing some weights. That's what I did. Those are my thoughts. This is episode number two of Gyno Advice. My top three tips to decrease gyno naturally without surgery. But, <laughs> like I said at the start, it's a bit of a clickbait title because at the end of the day, it's impossible. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. It's been an absolute pleasure and I will see you back here for episode number three. Good luck guys. Stay positive and peace out.